now i continue with the first chapter sets today i'm going to discuss only the problems on sets and thereby that is the end of this topic so far we have discussed all the important formal symbolic representations and also the definitions i think once i told this topic carries in the annual examination totally 8 marks part e that is one question one mark part b two questions but uh, and here you see that uh, two marks each it means four and uh, part c one question that is three marks totally eight marks you can see so one question on part a two questions on part b one question on part c and uh, try to understand that uh, here 2 into 2 you can see this and uh, accordingly we have to plan it to work out the problems today now i am going to see that the problems on part a problems on part b problems on part c separately and uh, when you complete all three types of the problems here and that completes total 8 marks in this topic for the annual examination so let us see the problems one by one nearly about 10 problems on part a and here i want to see the 20 problems on part b because two questions and here 10 questions on part c so totally i want to see that nearly about 40 problems and there is no possibilities to ask in the examination other than these problems let us see that first uh, i want to go through the problems on part a that each carries one mark questions so let us see that uh, problems one by one and accordingly we can solve it just to see the problems here duster bipin duster see the problem number 1 write the power set of set a which carries the elements a and b see that uh, this question carries only one mark you have to write that power set you have to write and here we have to write which are the elements of the power set of set a try to understand first set a how many elements are there so here the elements a and b power set is is the set which is consisting of subsets of all possible this is set a how many subsets we can write for this set and that becomes the power set so here the question is how to write the power set here i means power set you can write that p of a we can write power set is p of a power set is is the set which is consisting of subsets of a set a so what is the subset first you can see that null set you can see because null set is a subset of every set second one is a you can see 
third one is b you can say next one is a b you can say see these are the subsets 1 2 3 4 and uh, here you can see that additionally i want to tell that if they ask number of elements in the power set if they ask number of elements in the power set if they ask you have to write 2 raised to m formula that is m is the number of elements in the set a that is 2 so this is 4 look here 1 2 3 4 so there are four elements in the power set n stands for the number of elements in the power set and this is the way and the question asked only the power set but additionally i have written that number of elements in the power set and what is m m is the number of elements in the set a m is the number of elements how many elements are in the set a two i have written so this is question number 1 so i want to tell you possibility second problem write the power set of a equal to the question may be asked like this 1 2 here you have to see that 1 2 so you can see that 1 2 and the rest is same because the number of elements in the power set you can see that uh, 4 so these are the uh, uh, questions for one mark one mark means only they ask either this or this but i have explained here both how to write the power set how to write the number of elements of the power set so i want to go for the next question now and try to understand the nature of the problems in part a and there each carries one mark see the second question now what is the second question second is over now third question now you see write the set in roster form see roster form here given x such that x is an integer x is an integer and minus 3 is less than x is less than 7 so here you see the solution for one mark look this write the set in roster form this is set builder form here set is written in the set builder form that should be written in the roster form and try to understand that how to write in the roster form so here i want to write the roster form the possibility is x is an integer greater than minus 3 so you have to see minus 2 integer minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay look here these are the possibilities uh, that we can write the integers which are lying between minus 3 and uh, 7 so i hope you understood that how to write the uh a roster form this is in the set builder and here i have written in the roster form so the next question is i want to see that uh, uh, fourth problem you see that how to write the fourth problem and uh, the question is define power set this is for one mark they may ask define a power set so what is power set power set is nothing but the set of all possible subsets of the given set so power set is nothing but all possible subsets of a given set is called a power set that's finish what i say now all possible subsets of a given set is called power set next number 5 you see that right 
द इंटरवल राइट द इंटरवल लुक दिस माइनस थ्री जीरो इन द सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म इन द सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म लुक दिस इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन द इंटरवल फॉर्म सो यू हैव टू राइट इन द सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू हैव टू राइट इट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज क्लोज्ड एंड दिस इज ओपन एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट इन द सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म यू नो दैट सपोज लेट ए इक्वल टू आई राइट आर यू कैन सिंपली राइट बिकॉज नॉट मैंशन हियर ए a equal to so that is such such that x and here you are to that is see this x is closed and uh, try to understand minus 3 is closed this is x and look this uh, try to understand this what happens this is open this you write right open and this is this is look this based on this this is closed so we are written like this if it is open we write like this and uh, that x is greater than 0 and uh, here you have to see that x is greater than 0 no here x in between this here it lies in between minus 3 look this how to write if you want to go for clarity this is 0 uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and here you can see one so the here is uh, here is restriction is two like this and uh, here minus 3 is included so minus 3 and here this x is x is here less than 0 so that it should be like this try to understand zero is not included so that we have written zero is not open so zero is not included here minus 3 is included so that if it is this side so x is less than 0 and uh, it is greater than or equal to minus 3 i hope you understood that how you have taken this minus 3 minus 3 is included 0 is excluded x so this is set builder form you can say i hope you understood that uh, how we write this uh, set builder form uh, from uh, interval form so look this similarly the other problems we can go for it number 6 look this what write the set write the set x such that x belongs to r and minus 4 is strictly less than x is less than or equal to 6 and as in interval as in interval as in interval is in interval form you see it is in the set builder form but you have to write in the interval form how that uh, can be written at or see see very simple interval form try to understand this is x and uh, 6 is there you know so you have to write uh, 6 is included and here you have to see that uh, in a such a way minus 4 and you have to write minus 4 uh, minus 4 is not included you can write like this so one can understand that minus 4 6 this is in the interval form and try to understand 6 is included minus 4 is not included we write in this fashion so this is in the interval form and uh, this carries uh, one mark now the next question Seven. You see how we write that number seven. What is the number seven? You see that if n of a is equal to three, then find n of p of a. Look this. N of p of a. Look this. The formula here we see that. n of p of a means number of elements in the power set so n of p of a formula you know that is 2 raised to m 2 raised to m is the number of elements in the set a how many here 3 so how many you see 8 you have got 
n of p of a is equal to 8 that you can consider 8 elements that you can see. Next number 8th problem you see that how they ask in uh, one mark questions. Given that number of subsets, look this, given that number of number of subsets I am talking here, subsets of a set A of a set A is 16. Find find the number of find the number of elements find the number of elements in the set A. Look this very interesting problem this is the number given that number of subsets of a set means n of p of a is given how much look this 16 number of subset of a set a means power sets that is given 16 what is the formula for this 2 raised to m is equal to 16 and uh, what is m m is the number of elements see we have to find out the m number of elements in a 2 raised to m is equal to here we write a 2 raised to uh, 3 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 is 18 and uh, base is same powers must be equal what m equal to 4 what is m the number of elements in a therefore number of elements in a is equal to 4 yes this is the way how we find the number of elements in the uh, set now we go for ninth problem see that uh, what question they ask see this ninth one write the set write the set a is equal to x such that x is a natural number x is a natural number and here you see that less than 6 x is a natural number less than 6 try to understand x is a natural number less than 6 and what is the question now here in a roster form in a roster form what is the question first to understand here this is in the set builder form but whereas you have to write uh, the elements in the roster form roster form means here the elements written in the bracket with the commas x is a natural number 1 2 3 4 5 less than 6 less than 6 means uh, you have to write uh, uh, 5 only and here you have to understand how to write the answer that is in the roster form. Number 10, you can see that how we write this. What is this? Write, uh, look this, roster form 3, 6, 9, 12. In the set builder form. In the set builder form. Try to understand. This is in the roster form. You have to write in the set builder form. So suppose if you say, and uh, write uh, this, write, I want to just uh, write set A equal to, it is in the roster form, but you have to write in the set builder form. A equal to X such that x is equal to 3n n belongs to you have to go for 1 2 3 natural numbers or here you can see that uh, natural numbers only you have to write this whichever you take it that uh, if you take 1 we will get 3 and if you take 2 you get uh, 6 and x such that x is equal to 3n and up to what up to what 3n maximum is 12 so n is equal to 3 it comes right x is equal to 4 4 3 is 12 
and here you have to see that maximum here four you can take not a uh, and you see that uh, n is what less than you see five you can see less than five means four and uh, if you take four here four threes are twelve and you cannot take five because five threes are fifteen fifteen is not there so n belongs to set of natural number and then n is less than five so this is in the uh, set builder form you can say now we go for uh, discussing 11th problem and uh, i told you only 10 problems i want to discuss and one more uh, just uh, you write for the reference i am taking here 11th one what is this question you see if x is equal to a b c d and uh, y is equal to f b d z question is find y minus x find y minus x look this y minus x y is f b d z minus x a b c d so here you have to write only those elements which are in y but not in x and uh, try to understand uh, you are right yeah because it is not in x b is there d is there g so you can see yeah for g y minus x is a set which is consisting of only those elements which are in y but not in x that is nothing but uh, y minus x so f z is the answer so finally you will see that uh, some more problems on uh, part a and uh, that makes you perfect if i go for nearly 20 problems in part a only you are totally perfect and you can answer any kind of questions in the exam let us see that number 12 if a is equal to null set that is a empty set then question is what write the number of elements write the number of elements write the number of elements in p of e number of elements in p of e see number of elements p of e n of p of e we write what is the formula 2 raised to m and uh, 2 raised to m is the number of elements in a how many how many elements are there in a null set no element no element will be zero that becomes 1 2 raised to 0 that is 1 next problem you can see number 13 how we uh, answer this again a different question here what is that number 13 you see that write the set write the set what a is equal to x such that x is an integer look this x is an integer and x square is less than or equal to 4 in the roster form see in the roster form how we write in the roster form solution in the a is equal to x is an integer and uh, that should be x square is less than or equal to 4 and accordingly we can uh, write that and uh, if you take x and you see this first one is uh, less than or equal to 4 it should be and less than 4 means 1 square is 1 2 square is 3 3 square is 9 and here you have to see that which are number possibilities that is an integer integer you can see that minus 2 why why write minus 2 minus 2 square is less than or equal to is there you know and uh, minus 1 is possible and 0 is also possible 1 is also possible 2 is also possible look here 2 square is less than or equal to 4 that is equal to 4 1 square is lesser 0 square 0 square is lesser minus so these are the only elements which are uh, uh, satisfying this inequality x square is less than or equal to 4 and ultimately these are uh, the integers and accordingly we can uh, write it so now number 14 you see what is the question here write the set d 
write the set D is equal to uh, x such that x is a prime number, x is a prime number, look this, x is a prime number, which is, which is divisor of 60, which is divisor of 60. And here you see that in roster form, look this, in roster form. How to write this? Solution. Roster power. Very simple. You write. X is a prime number which is a divisor of 60. Suppose if you take 60, you go for uh, factors. This is uh, 60 means uh, you can go for, uh, uh, you can go for into uh, 30 into 2 and you can see that uh, 15 into 3, 2 and it is 5 into 3 into 3 into 2. So, these are the only the factors. 5, 3, 3, 2. Divisors. 5, 3. Factors means divisors. 5, 3, 3. And uh, you can see that uh, how we get uh, uh, these numbers. 60 can be written as 30 into 2. And uh, this, uh, this is what you say. 15. That is 15 into 2. And here also 2, you see that uh, what are the factors, 5 into 3 into 2 into 2. And uh, they are nothing but what? They are nothing but what? You can see that uh, factors are divisors. And uh, 5 divided 60, 3 divided 60, 2 divided 60, no other numbers are. And here you have to see that that is a prime number. You cannot take 1 is not a prime number. So that you can see that x is a prime number even it is also factor you can see this is also one you can write but one is not a prime number so what two three five means uh, here you write that two three five and which are the divisors of 60 and which is and these are the prime numbers so i hope you understood this how you got these uh, prime numbers prime numbers means and those are the numbers which are divisible by itself and by 1. So, but here you see that 1 is uh, not a prime number, is neither prime nor a composite, nor composite numbers, prime numbers that you know. So, now coming to the next problem here, these problems we are discussing under 1 mark. And uh, you see that next number 15, you can see that define, question is define subset of a set. So, how you are uh, defining a subset of a set? Suppose if you say the subset means, suppose if that the set, the elements of set A are also the elements of set B. If you say that the set A is, the set A is a subset of set B means the all the elements of set A, we can write in you know, A is subset of B means that all the elements of the set A are also the elements of a set B. So, definition we can see that, that the set A is said to be, the set A is said to be subset of set B if all the elements uh, of the set A are, is also what? Or you can say every element of a set A is a subset of, every element of a set A is also the element of set B. Once again, set A is said to be subset of set B if every element of set A is also, every element of set A is also element of set B. That is called a subset. And of course, that we have discussed for the party that I am discussing. And even you can see that uh, next question is uh, 16. Question may be asked uh, what? Define empty set. So, you know empty set is denoted by like this or like this. So, what is a empty set? <coughs> so, that a set uh, which you can see that uh, does not contain any element. Thus, the set which does not contain any element that is called empty set and that is denoted by like this. So, once again a set which does not containing any element is called empty set. Now, number 17, I want to hear about uh, 
are 20 examples I told you know 17 you see this if A has four elements how many elements four elements you see and the question is how many subsets how many subsets does does uh, A has this is the question look this how many subset means uh, that is a power set how many subsets the number n of p of a number of subsets of a set a and the formula is 2 raised to m what is m m has four element and here you see that uh, 16 you have got it the number of subs, uh, subsets uh, here you can see that uh, 16 now last but one you see that 18 and uh, here how to write the answer here look this 18 if set a is equal to 1 3 5 uh, find the number of elements in see question is find the number of elements find the number of elements in p of a what is p of a power set the question is number of elements in the power set that question asked here number of elements in p so what is the formula you can see this 2 raised to m m is the number of elements in the set a that is uh, 3 then uh, ultimately you can see that how many elements 8 elements you can see and uh, the finally one more problem i am going to discuss that 19 if you see list see the question list all the elements all the elements list all the elements of the set a of the set a x such that x is an integer x is an integer and uh, comma you see minus 1 upon 2 is less than is 9 by 2 so here you have to see that uh, uh, list of all the elements it is indirectly write in the uh, roster form it is a set builder you know you have to write in the roster form so you may be feeling that it is complicated to write the answer because uh, minus 1 upon 2 see this plus 4 by 2 how to understand easy name with the diagrammatic way I am going to explain here what you see that generally 0 and uh, 9 by 2 means uh, see 9 by 2 means uh, 2 4 is 8 and uh, 4.5 and you see this 1 2 3 4 here you see somewhere, somewhere here uh, what you say 9 by 2 4.5 and uh, like that uh, least is this is uh, you see this 1 and here minus 1 upon 2 minus 0.5 you know so this is minus 0.5 that is uh, you can see 1 upon 2 so this is nothing but uh, minus 1 upon 2 so you have to see the in between minus 1 upon 2 9 by 2 minus 1 upon and minus 1 upon 2 also not included 9 by 2 is an included only the integer and only the integer see 0 it comes and uh, here you try to understand 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 and 4 is 4 is 9 by 2 strict now 4 point 4 is also there it becomes 4 point 5 you know that is here you up to and integer is 4 3 2 1 also 0 and even minus 1 is also not because and both minus 1 upon 2 and 9 9 by 2 9 by 2 is nothing but 4 point 5 you write to understand and minus 1 upon means 0.5 so only these uh, numbers you can write it set a is having 0 1 2 3 4 so these are the possible questions under the part a that you can answer uh, for a uh, one mark now i'm going to discuss about part b questions means uh, uh, each carries here two marks after that we go for part c there we see that three marks question let us see that uh, uh, all possible here also nearly 20 problems i want to discuss and uh, so that you can understand question is part b try to understand uh, two marks each that is very 
uh, two marks each question. So now I want to take the first problem. Look this, if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, B is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, and C is equal to 5, 6, 7, and question is, question is what? Find, for two marks you say, find A union into bracket B intersection C. See the question, how to write this? And uh, first you have to write A is already there. B union C, B intersection C you have to calculate. See, B intersection C. What is B? 3, 4, 5, 6. And intersection C. C means 5, 6, 7. And try to understand, intersection means common. 3 is common? No. 4 is common? No. 5 is common? Yes. 6 is common? Yes. Only 5, 6 you have got in B intersection C. And now the question is here, A union into bracket B intersection C. What is A? A you write 1, 2, 3, 4. And union. And what is a B intersection C? You already have write it 5, 6. And here you try to understand, union means all elements of both the sets, repetition being taken only once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I hope you understood that uh, how you have got all these uh, numbers. So this is the case and one mark is here and one mark is here, totally two marks. And uh, I hope you understood that union means all the elements of the both the sides and repeated elements being taken only once. In the case of intersection, only common elements must be considered. This is problem number one. Now we discuss the problem number two here. What is the problem number two? Look here now, see. The second problem is that if X and Y are two sets, Look this, two sets such that, see the question, such that n of x is equal to 17, n of y is equal to 23, and n of x union y is equal to 38. Question is, find n of x intersection y. So, See that first, what are the given? We have to write it clearly for a reference. n of x is equal to 17, n of y is equal to 23, n of x union y is equal to 38. The question is, n of x intersection y, that the question asked here is this. So, these are the information given and accordingly we have one formula that is already we have derived. What is? N of X union Y is equal to N of X plus N of Y minus N of X intersection Y. This is the formula. Question is X intersection Y. So you can interchange the formula. You bring this. N of N of X intersection Y is equal to n of x, n of y, and you send this side, minus n of x union y. See, n of x is 17, n of y is 23, minus n x union y is 38. So here, you have to add it uh, 17 plus uh, 23, and uh, subtracting minus 38, you will get the answer to. This is the way how to answer for uh, this question. Now, similarly, we go for problem number 3 I am writing here and there you can see 2 marks for all these problems what I am considering. 3 marks and the formula how we use, how we write the uh, information is also important. Next, if u, universal set u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
and a is equal to 2 3 and b is equal to uh, 3 4 5 and uh, verify verify what see this question is de morgan's law this is a intersection b dash is equal to a dash intersection b dash dash means complement set so this is nothing but uh, de morgan's law a union b dash equal to a dash intersection b dash so how to prove this and accordingly uh, we have to think of see the solution to mark this first a union b i write a union b what is a 2 3 union what is b 3 4 5 look this and a union b is nothing but all elements 2 3 4 5 see union means all elements of both the sets repeating only once the question is now a union b complement equal to a union b complement means all elements of the inverse set set excluding this excluding uh, look this 2 you need not take complement excluding in the set 1 you write 2 cannot write 3 cannot write 4 cannot write and uh, this 5 cannot write and only 6 you have got a union b complement means only those elements of uh, in the universal set excluding a union b that is called one so this is equation number 1 you can say now you see that what is the a complement a complement means only those 2 3 you have to drop 1 see 4 5 6 this is a complement and what is uh, b complement excluding elements of b b where it is 3 4 5 1 you have to write 2 you have to write 3 4 5 means 6 you can write therefore a a dash intersection b dash is equal to a dash means 1 4 5 6 find uh, intersection here 1 2 6 intersection means common elements a dash intersection b dash is equal to common elements means 1 4 4 4 5 6 6 1 this is equation number 2 equation number 1 6 and here 1 6 and from 1 into you can say from 1 into what is the case here a union b complement equal to a complement intersection b complement this is actually called de morgan's law we tell this is the way how we prove the de morgan's law and uh, which carries uh, two marks that i have told you now i am going to write the uh, fourth problem and you see that how that can be answered and you try uh, these problems at home when i am sending all these problems to you next question is uh, that fourth one if u equal to universal set equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and uh, a is equal to 2 3 and uh, b is equal to 3 4 5 find question is a dash intersection b dash so very simple this is and i write uh, a dash intersection b dash equal to what is a dash 2 3 excluding 2 3 1 4 5 6 1 4 5 6 intersection b dash means excluding 3 4 5 3 4 5 means 1 to 6 1 to 6 so intersection means only common 1 4 not there 5 is not come for is there and 6 uh, is there so is there any other elements here other than the 1 and 6 a intersection a dash intersection b dash is equal to 1 6 so this is uh, problem number 4 now you see that problem number 5 and uh, for uh, two marks we are simplifying and we are reducing the number of steps so the next number Five, you see how it is. Draw. See the question. 
appropriate Venn diagram see that Venn diagram for A union B dash A union B dash complement how we to draw this this only we have to draw the Venn diagram nothing else for a tumors you know Venn diagram consisting of rectangle and uh, you see that uh, A and B are two sets see that A this is A and this is B you can see and uh, this is now you can say that this is A and uh, this is B but question is A union B means we are shading this entirely we are to for shading this but here A union B dash means excluding A and B means you have to dash other than this so this is uh, what you can see this portion and uh, try to understand this is what you say this is and this sh shading shading is A union B dash so this is a Venn diagram you can say when you see that U is the inversal set and try to understand A union B means A union B means what that inside A union B dash means excluding that means remaining all the things which you see in the inversal and this also carries two marks to draw this Venn diagram now you see that number six how we see the uh, problem and accordingly we can uh, write what is the problem number six you see that because we are going to see that uh, problems one by one to answering all these questions six is that I don't want to write uh, only the information whatever they have asked that I am writing because everything writing on the board it takes much time to complete all the types of the problems I want to see that I read out and I write only uh, things given in the statement what question if x and y two sets such that x union y has 18 elements see that x union y 18 see n of n of x union y is 18 is given next x has eight elements so n of x has eight elements and uh, and y has 15 elements n of y has 15 elements how many elements does x union y so the question is x intersection y how many elements this is a question and accordingly we have to write it so this is the information given here the formula we have this is a common formula which you have derived question is x intersection y but we have the formula x union y is equal to formula n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y but the question is this is asked so you write in the reverse order n of x intersection y is equal to n of x n of y see that one of y minus n of x union y this is the formula so the question is this is so what is n of x 8 n of y is 15 minus x union y is 18 so you have to add and subtract and we will get uh, the answer is 15 so this is the answer you can see for uh, 3 marks now I am going to see that uh, seventh problem how we see that uh, I read out the statement uh, here and I write only those things uh, given in the statement and also I write what is are required to find out in this problem so the next problem is seventh problem I read out here in a committee 50 people speak French 20 speak Spanish 10 speak both Spanish and French how many speak at least one of these two languages I have to read out here some clue points always uh, there that you understand don't get confusion if the statement is like this in a committee okay no problem 50 people speak French so that n of f is equal to 50 look this given the people speak French is 50 that is called n of 50 and uh, 20 speak 
for Spanish and n of s yes, Spanish. This is 20. And 10 speak both Spanish and French. And here you have to see that Spanish and French. Look this, how much this is? 10. And here one point is to be understood. Look there once again. 10 speak both Spanish and. Whenever and is there, you have to go for this is intersection. Try to understand. In the statement, and represents intersection or represents union. You have to always understand. Or comes, you say union. And comes, it is intersection. Here you see that. Uh, Spanish and French means it is intersection. And how many speak at least, at least one of these two languages? At least means always you understand the union. N of S union F. So you have to make out uh, uh, understanding this. At least means that uh, because it is always a uh, union of two sets. So we have the formula. What is the formula? You, you see that. What? N of you see that uh, S union F is equal to N of S, N of uh, F minus N of uh, S intersection F. The question is N of, so what is N of S is how much? 20, N of F is 50 and here 10. So 50, 70, 70 uh, minus 10, how much we get it here? 60, you have got it. So the answer is 60 that you can say. Now, I am going to see that uh, next problem, eighth problem I am going to see here and there you see what are the things given. Based on the information given, you have to work out the problems. Number eight, uh, what you see? If A is given, what? Two, five, seven, nine, eleven and uh, B is there, seven, nine, 11, 13 and C is there 15, 17 and question is find A intersection into bracket B union C. This is the question. You look this how. The question is first B union C. What is the question B union C? B union C. What is B? 7, 9, 11, 13 and union and C. C is what? 15, 17. Union means what? The elements of both the sets repeating only once. So that you see 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. The question is therefore A intersection B union C is equal to A means what? 2, 5, 7, 9, 11. That is intersection. B union C, that already you are written, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. So here intersection, you have to write only the common elements you have to write. Intersection means uh, here you have to write common elements. Which are the common elements you see that? 7 is common elements, 2 is not there, 5 is not there, 7 is there, and uh, 9, S, 9 also there. And uh, what you say the next, uh, 9, 9, uh, 9, 7 is there, 9 is there. 11 is also there because these are the uh, common elements so that A intersection to bracket B union C. Now problem number 9 you see that how things should be changed. So this is the way how we write the answers and uh, we go for writing in the examination. Now let us see that number 9 how to answer this 9. Question you see, if universal set is there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and here A is there, 2, 4, 6, 8, and uh, B is there, 2, 3, 5, 7, verify, look this, again D markers law, what? A union B dash is equal to A dash or uh, intersection B dash. So already this problem we have done that uh, A union B because according to the Dewey-Mavier's theorem only you have seen this. 
and uh, thereby you have to see that uh, a union b dash is equal to uh, a dash b dash so you can do it at, at home why because first you have to find out a union b and their component you call one and the second a dash into b dash you call equation two and from one and two you have to see that a union b complement equal to a complement intersection b complement so this uh, can be done at home and it is uh, similar to the previous one so the next uh, question i'm going to write number 10 and uh, you see that uh, how that number 10 is taken here so this number 10 you see what question is there if universal set is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and uh, a is there 1 2 3 4 and uh, b is there 2 4 6 8 the question is find what find a union b complement so it is also the part of the De Morgan's theorem. So let us see that what happens here. First question is A union B. What is A? A is there 1, 2, 3, 4 union. And uh, what do you say? B. B is what? 2, 4, 6, 8. Union means all the elements. 1, 2. Repeated, not permitted. 3, 4, and uh, uh, 6. Eight. Look, this one, two, three, four, six, eight. All these elements uh, we have taken here, and uh, accordingly you can uh, write the answer. So when you say, when you say that all these elements, and uh, the question is that complement. Therefore, A union B complement. So all the elements of the universal set excluding A union B. A union B. One is not. Two is not. Three is not. Four is not. Yes. 5 is there, 6 not, 7, and uh, what do you say, uh, 7, okay, 8 is there, and 9. So these are the elements in the complements that you see that 5, 7, 9, which are not in uh, A union B, those numbers we write it here. So this is the way how we uh, find the results. Now I am going to see that problem number 11, and uh, see that what? are the information given in the statement and also you write what is required uh, to find out here. So the number 11 you see that and here also that uh, if A is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Question is find A minus B and B minus A. See the very important point is to be difference of two sets. A minus B is the set only those elements of A which are not in B. So 1 not in B we have to write and 2 we cannot take 3 and uh, 1 you have written no so 2 you cannot write and 3 we can write 4 we cannot write 5 and 6 we cannot write and even uh, you have to write that uh, particularly the elements which are in A but 6 also then we can write 8 because why you have to write 8 because see, see uh, that problem is A minus B. A minus B means only those elements which are in B and here also you see that uh, 8 is in B you cannot write but only those elements of A which are in B. 2, 4, 6, 8, cancel it. 2, you can cancel it. 4, you can cancel it. 6, you can cancel it. And uh, what do you say? Uh, of course, uh, 8 is not there. You can write it. 1, 3, 5, 8. So, you have to write all the elements of A which are not in B. Which are not in B. So, the answer you can write that 1, 3, 5. Here, once, once again, you have to understand that this uh, B and B is there uh, 8 you have written 8 is there in here no 8 so you cannot write only those elements which are in A which are in A and uh, here 1 is there 1 is not here 3 is there in A 3 is there and 2 we cannot write because 2 already is here 
I know you, you say that phi is here, phi is near. I know six here and here six here. So eight in B, not in A. So that one three five. Similarly, you can say that B minus A, B minus A means which are in B, not A, which are in B. Two A is not there. Four is there. I know six is there. Only what you have to write. Look that only B two four six are there. What is the element of uh, here? Only thing is that eight. Eight is only element in B, which are not in a so that the elements which are in b not in a so 246 in a so that 8 is not so this is a uh, b minus a and try to understand how we find the difference of uh, two sets now i go for uh, taking that uh, uh, d morgan's law once again with the intersection but previously we have taken a union b dash now we see one example a intersection b dash this is again uh, Uh, 12th problem d morgan's law look this universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, see that a is equal to 2 4 6 8 and uh, b is equal to 2 3 2 3 uh, 5 7 verify what is the a intersection b dash equal to a dash union b dash look this first a intersection b how to find out how to find out a intersection b a intersection b what is a a is 2 4 6 8 intersection b b is what 2 3 5 7 you see which are common elements here which are common elements 2 3 Two, four, all, and uh, four, six, and eight. See how many? Which are the common elements here? Four is not there. Six is not there. Eight is not there. So, what are the possible elements? Only that two, two is the only element which is common. And uh, this implies a intersection B dash is equal to excluding to all the elements in the universal set means one, three, four. 5 6 7 8 so complement means excluding the elements of a intersection b that uh, will get it so now this is taken as equation number 1 because a union b dash next and a dash intersection b dash what is a dash a dash means 2 4 6 8 2 4 6 8 rest right. you write a dash It has means one, two, three, five, six. Can I write seven? Yes. And union B dash. We have to write only excluding the elements of B. Means one. You see that two, three. It comes four. See that. And five is not there. Six. And uh, seven is there, and you see that uh, excluding two, three, four, five, seven, and uh, you can uh, see that uh, seven is also not there, and you have to go for uh, writing the complement. You have to see that two, three, five, seven. We have to write one, four, six, eight, one, four, six, eight. So now here you see that. union all the possible elements uh, that should be written here so what are the possible elements uh, that you can write in the union all the elements repeating once 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and here you have to see that one here uh, that union union when you write that uh, particularly a dash A dash means here two, A dash two is not there. See, A dash means two four six, two four six. We have to write that one three five seven. And uh, here you write that uh, accordingly one three five seven. And uh, uh, yes, you see common element one. And here we cannot write uh, two. One three uh, five. Seven and you have to write it. I can one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is equation number two. 
from 1 and 2 you we can say from 1 and 2 a intersection b dash is equal to a dash union b dash so you understand proper definition suppose if you take wrongly and you cannot prove the results this is the way how we prove the this is also called a de morgan's law and now you see that next uh, 13th problem how that can be written so let us see that two more examples today and uh, accordingly we can complete this session now and uh, in the next last class we see that only the uh, three marks in addition to some more examples on two marks the last two problems you can see number 13 you can see yes signed t r two sets such that yes has 21 elements given look this yes yes has 21 elements and uh, t has 32 elements n of t has uh, 32 elements and yes intersection t has 11 elements yes intersection t has 11 elements how many elements yes uh, union t this yes union t question mark the question is very simple we have the formula you can write n of s union t is equal to n of s n of t minus n of s intersection t so n of s is 21 plus uh, 32 uh, minus uh, 11 so you see that uh, what are the elements that we can see 21 plus 32 minus 11 so that answer you see that uh, 42 now i write that uh, 14th problem how things should be considered in the problem see that uh, 14th and only the 15 problems that i see today and in this 14th problem what are the things given you see this write down all the subsets of 1 2 3 question is what are the subsets of this how many subsets look this uh, we have to write down all the subsets first uh, you can say null set uh, one subset you know this two and you can see three you can see one two three you can see that uh, one two you can see that uh, two three and uh, you see that how many one two three four five six seven and uh, you can see that uh, one more is one three look this one two three four five six seven eight one two three one two three one two two one is not necessary two three three two is not necessary one three so these are the subsets but the question is suppose if you say let a equal to one two three that is a number of uh, elements of power set is equal to 2 raised to m so 2 raised to m is number of 2 2 3 see this is 8 so what we get 8 so 1 2 3 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are 8 elements so this is the only the uh, clarification i have given you how 8 subsets uh, that can be seen so finally the next and last problem uh, that i discuss here and you have to tell the answer now so now let us see that uh, last one number 15 totally here today <coughs> nearly 24 25 problems that uh, i have considered see the last problem is uh, 15 what is the question if a is equal to 3 5 7 9 and uh, 9 and also 11 3 5 7 9 11 b is equal to 7 9 11 13 and c is equal to 11 13 15 and d is equal to 15 17 question is find what is the question now a union d bracket complete intersection 
B union C. This is a question now. How to find out this finally? Look this. First A union D are to find out. Solution. See. A union D. What is A? A is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Union. Union. What is a D? 15, 17. A union D you have got. So this union means all the elements not repeating. Uh, that is being taken only once. 3, 5, 7, 11, uh, 11, 15, 17. So this is A union D. And uh, you can go for B union C now. B, in B union C. What is B, you see? 7, 9, 11, 13. Union. C is what? 11, 13, 15. So, union means all elements. 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So, here 11, 13, uh, not at all uh, considering because that is the repeating, you know. That is why you have to write it. Now, finally, a union D bracket complete intersection B union C is equal to A union D is how much? 3, 5, 7, uh, 9, 11, 15, 17 and uh, intersection what is this uh, B union C? That is 7, 9, 11, 13. What is B union C? 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So, intersection means here only the common elements. Which are the common elements? You see that 3 is not there, 5 is not there, 7 is there, only 7. And you see that any other common elements are there, 9 also there. And 11 is also there. See, check up any other numbers, uh, you can uh, see that other than uh, these, uh, 11, 15 also there, and uh, 70 is not. So, this is the answer. So, I hope that uh, you have understood all these examples, uh, totally 15 problems I have taken. So, the, in the next class, and uh, we will see that only uh, part C problems, and in which I want to discuss, one more class I want to continue. That is the end of this first chapter sets and uh, here I have completed A, B, not C, not the problems unsaved take in the next class. Thank you.